Marvin, right now I don't have the money to send you off to college. Did you end up taking the entrance exam anyway, even after I told you this once already before? Huh? Even if you have luck on your side and pass that exam, I promised you that I'd only be able to pay to support you for a while longer, and that meant you're not going to college. Jesus, I cannot believe that you've gone ahead and done that, even with me saying no. Mom, what are you even going on about right now? I thought I already discussed with you that I'm going to be getting a bit of scholarship money to help me out my first two years. Huh? A year ago before Dad went overseas for work, I was discussing all of this with him, and you were with us there as well. The only one that seemed to be interested in what I was talking about was Dad at the time, but you did tell me congrats on the money, and that as long as whatever I was doing didn't get in the way of Kara, I was free to do it. I said that? I understand that with the illness that Kara has had, it's forced you and Dad to put a lot of money into her treatments, and those treatments have been going on for years now. And that's the reason why I've been trying my best and have made it to a point where I'll receive a bit of scholarship money from the state. Yet, you still want me to give up on going to college? I told you that right after graduating from high school to get yourself a job and start making money for this family. After all those times of you talking down to your siblings for never going to college and only ever working their whole lives, are you going to ask your own son to do the same as them? Well, that's... That's a different story. Sure it is. I get that for the longest time now. While Kara has been so sick and in the hospital a lot of the time, you've been stressed out about life and take it out a lot on others. But Kara is getting better now and you need to start thinking about changing how you think about things with the rest of us moving forward. I get it though. You still care a whole lot more about her than me and will do anything to make sure she lives the life she wants. Even going and asking me to give up on my dreams of going to college for some reason you don't even agree with. Well, if you understand how I'm feeling right now. But mom, I'm her older brother and I'm not going to waste my potential by not going to school to gain a degree. I want to do well for myself, not just for better money, but so that I can support Kara as well if she ever needs something from me later in life. And that's why I want to go to college and study even more. I want to learn about all sorts of things and hope to one day find an amazing job where I can put all I've learned to use. Me going to college isn't just about me, Mom. It's about more than just me. It's about making sure that Kara has a safe future as well. I get that I don't have the most outstanding scores in the world, but with this money I'm getting from the state, and with my chances of at least getting in, I think I'll be okay. So please, stop trying to control what I do by saying that you don't have the money to pay for me or that you want me to work for your sake. I get it. Well, as long as you're not going to cause any problems for Kara, then go right ahead and go to school. You really need to learn how to talk to your mom correctly, though. Marvin? Did you get yelled at by your mom again? Hmm? Well, I was sitting in front of the TV doing my rehabilitation work when I heard her talking about you in the kitchen. Ah, uh, you're talking about what just happened between us. Well, Mom was just trying to tell me that going to college would cost her a lot of money, and that's why she didn't want me going. But then I asked her if she'd forgotten about how I spoke with her and Dad about me getting a scholarship for two years, and that she wouldn't have to worry about paying for me. However, after mentioning that, she told me I should be working after high school to make money for the family. Then I told her about how she always spoke poorly of her family because they all went right to work after high school instead of going to college, and how it's odd she'd asked me to do the same. Well, that seemed to have upset her a bit, but she wasn't able to make any more comments. Ah, so that's what that was all about then. Mom really doesn't have a clue about how hard you've been working to get into college and everything without having to pay too much. Does she not even realize that you've been the one homeschooling me this whole time while I've been sick and you've only just gotten a break from it now after I started to feel better and got back into the public schools? I'm sure she doesn't care, but I'm really glad to hear that you're doing well in school with all those other kids now. So, thank you for being such a close listener as a... So, <laughs> thank you for being such a close listener as my student. Thank you for teaching me. To be honest, I kind of like being your teacher. 
It helped me learn and train a bit about what it's really like to be a teacher. And that's something I'll be able to utilize later in life. But still, I'm thankful that you were there to teach me after you got out of school. No problem. Marvin, I'm going to assume that the graduation ceremony is over now? It's all finished. And as I thought, you didn't even bother coming to see me there. I can understand Dad not being there, as he's on the other side of the globe for work currently. But the only person in my grade that didn't have anyone come to see their graduation was me. Is that so? Well, that's not of any interest at the moment. Right now, I have something to tell you now that you're no longer in school. What? Sometime before the end of the day, I want you to get out of my house. Pardon me? And the reason for this is because Kara is asking it. Kara wants me to leave the house? Kara has told me that she wants to be an only child now at home, so she's asked me to have you gone from the house. Huh? Why would she ever say such a hurtful thing about me? There's no way she actually said that. But she did. She did. And as for myself, I only believe that she's my true child, and that you're just some straggler. In other words, I don't need you in my life, Marvin. So don't even bother coming back home anymore. Hmm? If that's what you want. I guess I don't really care that I have to leave the house now. I've already taken most of my things out of my room anyway, so this isn't a problem at all. Huh? Are you going to say that you didn't notice a thing? Well, I guess I'll have to get you up to date on this. The college that I'll be going to in September is about seven hours away from home. Huh? Seven hours? In other words, you have zero clue what college your son is about to be going to, do you? Um... Well, I don't really care if you know where I go or not. Well, that's all I have to say to you. Goodbye forever, ex-mom. Good morning, Marvin. I am assuming that yesterday you were able to make it safely to an apartment near the college that you'll be attending this fall, right? Good morning, Kara. That's right. Right after my graduation ceremony ended, I got into my car with a lot of my things and made the seven-hour trip to the apartment. I just had myself a small breakfast and am now starting on cutting into all the boxes I brought along and setting my new place up. Well, while you're at it, I'll be taking Mom off your hands and going out to play with her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be waiting then. And by the way, what did you do about the name on that apartment? Hmm? Well, one of my friend's sisters who works for the realty business explained a lot of this to me in depth. She explained that since you're only just going into college, it might be hard for you to get an apartment on your own, both legally and because the school might not allow it. Ah. Uh, well, now that you brought that up, I forgot to mention that to either you or Mom. Well, I guess I really couldn't mention it at the time, but... Anyway, the name on this place is Dad's. Uh, is that right? Actually, back in May, he came back to America for a month and was in town to see me. And while he was around, he came and helped me with all the things required to get me into this place. Hmm, that's a bit unexpected. I understand that Mom is probably trying to get you to think that Dad is some kind of selfish man that doesn't really care all too much about us, but he's actually quite the opposite. He was very happy to come back to town to help me with the apartment, and he even paid for my first few months of rent. Is that right? And it'll only be another three months or so before he comes back from overseas for good, and we'll be living back in the States. So during that time, if you ever feel that you need someone to come and help you, and Mom's being a jerk about it, Make sure to ask Dad for help, because I'm sure he'll come right to you. You think so? All right, then. Ah, and within another year or so, I think I will have the ability to break out of this place for good. In only another year? Well, when I'm old enough to get into high school, I should be able to make a plea to live on my own. And so I'm aiming for that time right now, so that everything goes smoothly and I can get the heck out of here. And I'm sure that will all be made easier if Dad and you are able to lend me a hand when I need it. You know? After all, when I leave her, I might need a place to stay, or at least a small amount of financial help. I'm not sure what all you plan on doing there. 
I'm still thinking through a lot of the details, so when I know more about what I want to do, I'll let you know. Kara! Are you really planning to start playing tennis at high school? Ah, you must have heard about that from Dad. You can't do that! I want you to enter the debate club, please! Why should I go into debate? Because your body is far too weak right now for you to be playing any sports at all. And something like tennis. You need a lot more strength to play a sport like that. Well, from what I've heard the doctor tell me, I'm no longer sick and can get back to being a normal kid. You used to be in choir back when you were in middle school. You don't even want to join that club again? But in choir club, I still had to move around on stage a lot for some of the performances. What? Having to sing already uses a lot of one's strength, and then having to dance around at times and also stand up on stage for hours at a time. When we practiced after school, we'd even do a little bit of exercising to maintain proper muscle and everything for our shows. Excuse me? What did you think you were doing back then? You were so weak and still are, and they were making you exercise and all that? Well, that's why I'm saying this now. I've been over my sickness for over three years now, and a lot of my strength has come back to me, making me feel even better than ever. And that's partially due to me being able to exercise during choir back then. I understand you wanting to feel worried about me since I was sick for so long and without a whole lot of strength, but I'm no longer as weak as I was then and am ready to move on. I've already moved on, actually. But listen, Kara... Going into something like tennis means you'll be busy all week long practicing. And you'll have to go to practice and games on the weekends. And another thing. I was finally able to get rid of that Marvin guy that kept living in our house all these years, so we finally have time to be together with one another in this house without anyone bothering us. So don't waste all that time that we could be spending together on something like tennis. Huh? What did you just say? Did you just say that Marvin was getting in our way? My brother? Your son? You told me a while back that you wanted to become an only child, right? And you and I both never really thought of Marvin as being a part of this family, right? Are you freaking kidding me, Mom? Was that something I said to you years and years ago when I was in the middle of being deathly ill? Because that sounds to me like something I said when going through all those treatments and being on loads of medication. Well, if I did say something like that, I didn't mean it at all. What do you mean? I mean that I probably meant to say something else. Like how it felt like I was an only child because Marvin had to sacrifice his time to become another parent of mine. Maybe I meant that had I never been born, Marvin could have lived a better life at home with his mother. Huh? Of course, right now, I don't think anything like that anymore, and I'm very happy that I had someone like Marvin as my older brother to be around the house all day with me. It's because of him stepping in to homeschool me that I was able to get right back into public schooling when the doctors let me out of the hospital and allowed me to start moving on my own. And as for the high school exams that he had to focus on while doing all of that for me, you told him he couldn't study for those exams because he had to be at home to take care of me while you went off somewhere. So you know what he did? He stayed up all night on the computer after I fell asleep and studied his butt off. And then when it came time to help me study, he'd forgot about all his work and only focused on me. Um, and guess what else? While he was so focused on making sure my grades were okay and that I'd be able to make it to high school, he was still working his butt off for his college entrance exam and even passed those too. I'm seriously going to be forever grateful to him after all those years he had to sacrifice for me while also finding ways to keep pushing himself forward. Kara! And so to help make going to high school a lot easier for myself, I'll be moving to Marvin's apartment and leaving this town. Huh? You're moving out? Actually, I already had all my stuff moved out of the house and am currently on a plane heading to him. I told him that the STEM-based school near his college is where I wanted to go, and so he offered that I stay at his place while going there. What are you even talking about, Kara? I know for a fact that you'll be starting class soon at the high school in town with all your friends, right? 
This has been the high school you've been wanting to go to for a long time now, right? Huh? Are you sure about that? I get that you wanted me to go there since it was in town and has a really good debate team which you wanted me on. But I told you already that I someday want to become an engineer, and that's why I'm going to a school that focuses on that style of learning. Excuse me? Ah, the plane is going to land soon, so the plane Wi-Fi will cut off at any moment now. Thank you for all those years of taking care of me. Kara! Bye-bye. Marvin! You took my little girl from me! What the heck do you think you're doing taking her from me? She was the one that told me she applied to go to the STEM school here this fall. Excuse me? Have you all forgotten just how much I devoted and worked to care for Kara while she was deathly sick and needed me? Devoted, huh? What's with that? I don't think I'll have another chance to say this after today, so I'll let you know right now. I'm not sure if you understand that when you say you've devoted yourself to her, you actually just mean you want to use her as a way to make yourself feel good. Like you use the fact that you helped her to control her and the rest of us. Huh? What the hell does that mean? When Carl was in the hospital getting treated and at home from time to time, you were always the one that went to be with her the most. But you were only ever there, and that's all. Huh? I was always with her the moment she had to be admitted to the day they finished working on her, right? It's not like someone with no knowledge of medicine could do anything more for her besides be with her, right? So that's what I did. And it's very important that you would go be with her to talk to her and such. But from what she's told me about you, you would rarely ever let her speak, instead going on tangents about yourself and the life you have. And at times when other families would be there with their sick relatives, you'd begin to speak louder so that everyone had to hear about you and your sick daughter. And sometimes what you start yelling about wasn't even appropriate for the hospital. And you caused all those other families a lot of stress. Remember that it wasn't just you going to the hospital to see Kara. And when I would go in, I'd have to apologize for everything you do. Huh? I had a lot of families and doctors and nurses tell me, I must live a very tough life at home with you, since you had your high schooler son apologizing for the way you behaved. And another thing. You seem to forget a lot of the most basic things when it came to caring for your daughter. Bringing things like new clothes and stuff for her to change into. Huh? It took a lot of effort from both dad and I to have to help with all of Kara's laundry. Especially when she was becoming a teen and she began to change. Normally, someone like you should be in charge of that. But you never seem to think about Kara's needs. So at one point... Grandma realized that Dad and I needed help and would start stopping by the hospital to grab her dirty clothes and clean them for us. She was doing that? Also, the reason for Dad having to start working overseas wasn't something he chose to do out of his own wants. He didn't choose to leave us to try and escape from caring for Kara, but rather to get the pay increase that came from it so that we could afford her treatments. Wait, that was his reason for leaving? And when it comes to Kara's schooling, I was the one who had to school her for most of her time in the hospital and at home because she wasn't able to go to school anymore, right? Well, I never once saw you teaching her anything from those homeschool kits. The only reason you never saw me teaching her anything is because you hated being around me when I was with her. So you only chose to go to the hospital or come in the room when I wasn't around. But I... So, what did you do, Mom? Can you give me some concrete examples of what you did to care for her? Well, I... I'm sure you can't give me an answer, can you? I already gave the answer to that question. So now all you're left with is empty words. So do you understand now why things are the way they are? But I'm Kara's mother. It looks like Kara will be arriving here in just a few minutes. Huh? Don't worry about it. You can leave everything to do with Kara in my hands now. See ya. You hold it right there, Marvin. I already bragged to all the other moms in my friend group about how she'd be going and joining the debate team at the high school in town. I made it seem as though she would be the most amazing student ever there as well. 
After years of having to battle her sickness with the help of her mother, she's still able to go to high school and win debates for her school. That would be amazing, right? Right? I have to be able to show all those people that my daughter is going to those debate tournaments and to school with great grades. If I can't, then there will be no reason for me to brag about her. Hey, uh, can you try and convince her into coming back here and going to school? Marvin, give me back my girl! When I began to think that was her final text to me, my mom would then send another asking me to give Kara back to her. So to keep myself from losing my sanity, I blocked her number. And as for my father and what he'd do about mom, he ended up divorcing her about a month after that. It turns out that my father was able to come work at an office in town near my college in Kara's high school. And so he's been able to meet with her whenever she gets out of class. He's living on his own right now outside of town, but every once in a while we all get together to go out for dinner or something and catch up. And then there's a story of what's happened to my mom since then. After learning about her, her husband divorced her, and having lost both her kids, she decided to leave her house and go back to her hometown. But a lot of people back home didn't like her very much anymore, and not a single person came to her side as she cried for help. These days, I think she's still back in her hometown working pretty basic jobs, but I can't be too sure of that since I haven't heard anything about her now.